Welcome back everyone to a brand new How Diverse 2 video. With the introduction of the brand new Premium War Bond, we've had a plethora of weapons, as well as some utilities, grenades, and so on introduced into the game. So I decided to go ahead and stress test some of the new meta weapons and kind of give my overview on them. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I said, with the introduction of this new War Bond, we've had new armor and weapons introduced, such as the LAS-16 Sickle, the ARC-12 Blitzer, and the SG-8P Plasma Punisher. Now, some of these weapons are actually really good and I think are going to slot into the new meta and some of them are absolutely abysmal in my opinion and are not worth using. Now, we've had some new armor introduced, but the armor that was introduced is not really that insane. It just gives you a 95% resistance to arc damage and they all do the exact same thing. So they are good and you can do some interesting things with the Tesla Tower, but beyond that, that's pretty much all you can do with them. But they do look cool, so I guess they have that going for them. So let's get into the main part of the video and actually start testing and kind of doing an overview of each of these weapons and kind of tell you guys what i think are the new meta weapons and what weapons that you should actually be using your metals for so the first weapon we're going to get into is the las 16 sickle which like i said earlier is an energy based rifle it has pretty good damage um, and a really good fire rate and it also has light armor penetrating but it does overheat so you have to keep that in mind now this thing like i said is an absolute powerhouse it kind of reminds me of like a little mini gun it fires really fast and really consistently it has a pretty decent mag size as well or whatever you want to call it but actually it does really well clearing out large packs of enemies and it does pretty good on the aoe as well now this performs really well in the bugs this is allowing you to take out some of the weaker enemies really quickly and even some of the kind of tankier enemies just like the warriors the you know little mini chargers um it does pretty well against them and you can actually sit there and keep consistent fire on them which will result in consistent damage now once you're going against the chargers obviously this does not have really any medium penetration so you're not going to crack legs and armor off like you would with like the rail gun and so on but it will do really good damage if you can actually crack them open and expose that weak point on that enemy. Now, I would advise using something like the railgun to go ahead and charge and, like I said, crack the actual armor off. And then you can go ahead and pull out the sickle and really destroy them within a few seconds. Or you can do something like the impacts as well and kill them really quickly. It really depends on what you're trying to do. But I would advise bringing something that you can crack armor off pretty easily with it's just because this weapon cannot achieve that. But like I said, it actually does really good against the littler bugs. The chargers, it does decent against if you can get that weak point opened up. But even at the backside where you can destroy the abdominal section and make him bleed out, you can destroy it pretty quickly with the sickle. So overall, it's actually pretty good. And I think it's going to be one of the new metal weapons for the bugs. Now moving on to the bot side, the sickle actually does pretty well as well. Being able to destroy enemies pretty quickly. And even once you're going against stuff like the hawks and the, you know, the ones with the flamethrowers and stuff on them, it actually does pretty well as well. Now, if you combine this with the new grenade which is the stun grenade it actually is able to stun a lot of enemies if not every enemy in the game um, i've been able to stun like chargers bile titans um what do you call it the hulks and so on the only thing i have not tested it on is the tanks but like i said it's actually able to stun them and you can kind of go in and rotate behind to that weak point and finish them off really quickly with the sickle um so it is a really good weapon and even against like i said the littler enemies this thing's actually able to shred them you're able to keep that constant fire since it has such a large you know like magazine size and you're able to put that constant damage out and really destroy a lot of enemies before you actually need to reload or retreat into your squad or or whatever you want to call it now this does not have like no alternate firing modes no charge modes no nothing the only thing you can do with it is change the actual scope zoom level but i think that this weapon is a really good fit and i think this easily fits into like the s tier and the new meta weapons i think you can easily be rocking this and i actually have been using it a lot recently and i've been a in love with it um since it has came out so i am one of the advocates for this weapon to be in the meta tier but um, if you guys have a difference of opinion or your testing has resulted in different results, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, speaking of that grenade, the G23 stun, like I said, is actually really, really useful. Now, the only issue with using this is that you can't obviously destroy like uh, what do you call it? nest spawns. You can't destroy the spawners of the bot side just because it is a stun nade, not an explosive. So if you're going to run that, you're going to have to run something that can destroy the actual nest. So do keep that in mind. But like I said, it's able to stun pretty much every enemy. Um, Chargers is able to stun. Even Bile Titans is able to stun for like three to four seconds. Uh, 
um you're able to stun hulks most of the bot enemies i had only thing i haven't tested on is tanks um but i would assume you're able to stun them as well if you're able to stun bio titans like i said it's actually a really good grenade and i think this easily is up there um in like you know the a tier and possibly even in the s tier the only reason i wouldn't say uh, the only like bad thing about the nade is like i said is you can't destroy the nests and the bot spawners but beyond that it is a really good grenade allowing you to reposition on enemies to that weak point as well as like battle titans and stuff like that um you know your chargers you can throw it down and really get in their face to do the damage if you're running you know like an arc thrower or something that has a projectile based that you need to get all those pellets to hit absolutely amazing allows you to reposition or if you have a bow on you can throw it behind you and run away it is really versatile and useful against both the bots and the bugs now moving on to the next weapon that i've tested is the sg uh punisher plasma shotgun now this one is pretty good um i wouldn't say it is like a new meta weapon and the only reason i say that is because if on the bug side this is a aoe explosion so you can easily kill yourself and if you're gonna get hit by like a stalker or if you're trying to run away you know or you have an enemy that's rushing you um and gets in your face you can easily kill yourself with and like a good general rule of thumb is you pretty much don't want to take any you know like aoe explosive weapons into the bots just because like i said you are uh, not to the bots but to the bugs just because they can get in your face and if they do that you can easily kill yourself or you can kill your teammates um and as such there's you know a such like big pack of bugs when you're going against it especially on the new missions it is actually insane having 10 you know plus bio titans and five 10 chargers running after you like you're gonna need uh, a weapon that is able to put out a lot of damage quickly um and just the punisher is just not able to really do that uh so that's why i said that like it is not in the meta but you know it still is able to kill uh the chargers on average if you don't crack any of the armor off and you're just using this to try to hit that weak point side or the abdominal side of like chargers usually about six to eight shots will actually kill a charger and with a battle titan i haven't really fully fully tested but i have heard from some people you can kill a battle titan if you actually are able to get under its underbelly and shoot it but obviously doing that in the higher tiers is pretty much not going to be possible because you're going to have so much other stuff going on so you're pretty much not going to be able to kill battle titans with this the littler guys um i forget the names of them but like the little mini chargers um that are not fully like armored but they still have some type of armor they're able to be killed in around four to five shots. So like I said, it's not able to really kill them quickly, but it's still able to kill them, um, you know, in a decent amount of time. But comparing that to like the sickle, it just is not able to kill it, uh, kill the enemies as quickly on the bug side. Now to the bot side, it is still able to do good damage and still able to kill the enemies quickly, but it's not gonna be comparable to the sickle. Um, it is still a good weapon, and I think I would throw it in A tier, but I don't think it is gonna be a new metal weapon um, just because the sickle just does everything this does better. But there's still, you know, it's still early to really, really, really say for sure that this is its final spot. So I'm gonna be testing more. And um, if you guys enjoy this type of video, definitely let me know by hitting that like and subscribe button, and I will do a follow up on it to where we can really go ahead and I fully test this and stress test it and see all the mechanics and see you know exactly what this is able to do now those are the weapons that i think are really notable and that are you know like really uh good to use um obviously the sickles and uh, like i think a new metal weapon that everybody should be using and the punisher i think is a good fun weapon that's an a tier but i don't think it's an insane weapon that's going to be a new meta um i do think the stun grenade is a hundred percent um, going to be a meta grenade to use but now the last uh, two weapons i haven't really tested fully and my footage for it got corrupted and i wanted to get this video out to you guys but is the arc 12 blitzer shotgun which is like the arc thrower shotgun it's not really that good and i heard from other people that it just has way too slow of a fire rate it basically you the fire rate is comparable to fully charging an arc thrower and it's just not going to do you know the the it's not it doesn't have a charge time so you're not going to be able to half charge it like you are with the arc thrower and really get it out there um so it's not really comparable to the arc thrower it's still better now i did hear that it does more damage point blank but it, that issue is you got to be really you know point blank with enemies whereas the arc thrower does its damage pretty much from any range and i do think the arc blitzer does have a range fall off so in my opinion it is not that good um, especially the hype around it. I thought it was going to be a lot better, especially, you know, being a arc thrower shotgun variant. I was like, okay, this should be doing more damage up close, you know, um, maybe having a little bit less damage or something, a better fire rate. I don't know, do more damage point blank or something or something 
you know, that is gonna have the edge over the arc thrower, but sadly, it just seems like the arc thrower is better than the arc 12 blitzer shotgun. Now, the next thing that I was gonna go with is the LA7 dagger. Now, this is the only weapon I haven't really tested, so I can't give my full thoughts on it, but if you guys know, um, you know, if it's good or not, the pros and cons, please let us and the community know down in the comment section below. And like I said, last thing is just the armor all have the same type of passive, which is the uh, electrical conduit, which provides 95% resistance to arc damage. But you can actually use this and use like the arc tower to throw down, which you can basically sit in it because you're only going to take about 5% damage from it. Um, so that is a nice thing you can use, a nice synergy there. But besides that, that pretty much covers up the whole thing. Um, I haven't tested, like I said, the booster as well, where it increases the time between enemy encounters. I don't know exactly the you know full duration that it increases, how many seconds it gives you, whatever the case. But um, that is pretty much it. It covers up the whole premium war bonds. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will put out a fully, fully in-depth uh, mechanics, you know, uh, overview of each an individual weapon and really dive in to see how good or bad they are. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found something new that you may not have known. And I hope the info was relevant and useful to you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.